Nine. It is not here either. Can't. We're gonna miss the planetarium show about asteroids. But it's gonna be dark in there. I need my glow-in-the-dark watch so I'll know when to take my allergy medicine. Really? You're allergic to asteroids now? Better safe than sorry. Okay. Everybody take a box. Nah, I got this. I found it! <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> no applause needed. You're welcome, Kent. It's broken. JD, we should be working together. But everybody take a box is so boring. As the secret lab kids, we should be thinking outside the box. What about you give that backpack of yours a rest? Seriously, JD, that thing's more trouble than it's worth. You guys are just jealous. Out of our way. No lower life forms allowed. Oh! Ah! So, that's the way you want it, huh? JD, chill! Don't let those jerks ruin the day for us. Okay, okay, I'll be cool. Uh, between Jupiter and Mars lies the asteroid belt. The asteroids are fragments from our solar system's formation 4.6 billion years ago. Ceres is the largest asteroid. Day! Hey! Compressed air kaflooey launcher. Get ready for a little kaflooey fun. <laughs> no applause needed. You're welcome, everyone. Wait, Rocco, shouldn't we? Look inside first? Yes, always wanted to know. What JD keeps in his backpack. <laughs> I can't find my backpack. A little help? Sorry, that sounds like a team activity. Right. We wouldn't want to be too inside the box for you. Envy is a very ugly thing, you know. Look, Rose, a J.D. wrap. I like mine with special sauce. Hey, that's my instant tornado kit! <laughs> okay, you've had your payback. You win. Now, cut me loose and give me the backpack back. Oh, no, no, no. This is way too much fun. Edison, I'm feeling guilty that we didn't stay and help JD. In that case, the best advice I could give you is... What was that last part? I believe he said... Mr. Edison, where are you? Ah, what is happening? It's the antimatters. They took my backpack. They've got the portable Alva. Any more good news to go with that? No, not really. By the way, cool fence. Thanks. I've always been a fan of Chain Link. 
Guys, focus! Why are all these holograms popping up here? Shouldn't they be showing up at the portable Alva? I'd say Rocco and Rose have seriously messed it up somehow. Something's interrupting the portable Alva's radio signal. Talk to Leon Theremin about it. Settings the virtual reality window coordinates for Russia. Go! Did you like that song? It is called Fun on the Ferris Wheel. Are you Leon Theremin? Who works with radio signals? And the Theremin, the world's first electronic musical instrument. And yes, I also invented the way to retransmit radio waves. When passive radio waves are activated by radio waves from outside source, they transmit information like voices or music. This is because wires inside the radio transmitter allow negatively charged particles called electrons to pass through, creating an electrical current. As the current flows through the wires, it creates an electrical magnetic field. That is why radio waves are energy from an electromagnetic field. Can I get a little help with this fence? Did I hear please? Did I hear help? <sighs> Thanks. Sorry about being a little over the top earlier. Mr. Theremin, could something interrupt a radio wave? Many things can interrupt the radio waves or electromagnetic signals. Another signal or even certain materials like copper or aluminum. Think of radio waves like a train traveling on a certain track. Block the track and you disrupt the train. Like a cell phone in an elevator or underground that can't get a signal. Thanks, Mr. Theremin! So how's this help us get the portable Alpha back? Mr. Theremin said radio signals are like trains on a track. Maybe Von Bolt can follow the track and find out where the portable Alva is located. Why doesn't it do anything? Because it's dumb. But I'm gonna find out what it is. Then we can break it. Finding the portable Alba? Nothing yet. The portable Alba is somehow affecting the main Alba because they are on the same frequency. Wonderful! Here is the radio signal. And it is coming from this building. <gasps> That's where the antimatters live. If they break that thing, we could lose Mr. Edison forever! Gee, a locked door. Who would have guessed? According to Theremin, wouldn't security doors have passive radio signals? So, let's interrupt it! What if those creeps are hiding the portable Alba? How are we gonna find it? Oh, I figure our little diversion will give us plenty of time to look. Get lost! Environmental services, we need to check your bathroom's J-valve. Oh, come right in. Yo. Signal 
world's main Alva is free and uninterrupted. Time for a little fun. Okay, you win. You've got your backpack back. So split. Like an atom. Don't you want to see how this little gadget works? <laughs> Isn't static electricity fun? You really stink. Bye-bye. We're glad to have you back, Mr. Edison. Thanks, Angie. I just hope you've learned your lesson, JD. I sure have. Teamwork, that's what it's all about. Unless you need some original thinking, that's when you need a guy like me. <laughs> no matter where you've been, you can learn to play that there are men. It was an experiment. Leon's brain was really bent. No one said a word of it, cause no one's ever heard of it. It's crazy and mysterious, it's hard to take it serious. Hand positions, play the notes, it might sound like laughing goats. Wave your hands up all around. That's what makes that creepy sound. Silly, squeaky, trilly, tweaky, twitchy, bitchy, scratchy, itchy, whippy, flippy, slippy, slidey. Play it outside, not inside. No matter where you've been, you can learn to play that there are men. Clarinet. For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.